Top of the morning, folks. Today is Friday the 26th, 2019. Waking up a little bit early, 6.30 or 6 o'clock. Just to go work out. About to make this happen right now real quick. Pre-workout, go. Today, I'm going to be working out with the mic no. So, pray for me. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Just took my dose of pre-workout. That's got All right, made it to the gym right now. I hit up the treadmills, get myself worked out. How to warm myself up. I always like to do that little cardio for what I want to do. And cut it, so make it happen. Fitness my team today. It's a light work right there real quick. Just got done with the workout session. In and out with an hour, feeling good. So I was in there, I was lifting uh, heavier again, but yesterday I had a recovery day and I still feel it. So I feel a little resistance on whatever I've been pushing, but um, I was talking to Mike, he's like, hey, that's when the growth happens. And I'm like, all right, cool. If I keep this up, my muscle will remember it and then we will continue going after that. So good workout, let's go, start the day. The time right now is about 8.46 and I am on my way out the door towards uh, San Bernardino Highland area. Today, it's a good day. We're gonna be closing Mountain View house and I'm going to go to another house that we closed on. Put some straps on the water heater because that's what you have to do with water heaters. Put straps on because that's in compliance with the law and uh, I'm gonna do that real quick so hopefully I get that done in time I should be able to get like um, something something real quick for the closing of uh, you know this transaction so hopefully I can get in there get out make it happen I want to strap this up real quick and then go from there Anyways, I am on my way. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day. It's a Friday. Happy Friday, folks. Hopefully, everybody's having a beautiful day. Let's get it going, folks. That's what it is, what it is. Let's make it happen. Top of the morning, folks. Vinny Boy clocking in. You already know what it is. Today is a beautiful day. It's going to be hot, hot, hot in Southern California. However, it's all good. I am going to a closing today. So, I'm a get some you know some cool stuff so then I can give like give it to them say hey man this is like their first purchase and we actually closed on another house so I got to go over there straps some uh, some water heaters because that's in compliance with the law so you know, we got a lot of things to do today anyways hopefully you guys having a beautiful day stay hydrated have fun and let's go folks yo I gotta go in and secure this real quick and we should be on our way okay coming in taking apart this water heater and it's in the outside it's outside so i have to drill through the stucco get some uh, type of anchors and uh, make it all correct so it can be tightly good snug fit into it so i'm just figuring out how to do it putting in the straps as quickly as possible because the sun is freaking burning me i'm telling you i'm wearing black too so i'm just like you know trying to work as fast and quickly as possible and boom done and there we go we got two straps we are in compliance right now thanks for the help man my little cheer man right now go 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 you guys having a good day all right and let's go this area oh yeah i love that word escrow say escrow with me escrow. yeah and bam bam there it is so we are in compliance ready to get this household on to the next one yay right, you already know all right so our appraiser just left uh, he's kind enough to allow us to uh, uh, rectify some of the conditions called out for the appraisal. The buyer is going FHA, that's first time home buyer. Um, and just follow me and I'll explain. So, since this is a detached converted studio with a whole living quarter um, and it's not permitted, it's not considered a living space. So, 
what you can do with this is that they will allow you to have a bonus room per se, but you can't have this cooking stove right here. So what we gotta do right now is remove this, take it out, and that corrects the problem right now, okay? So that's one of the items. I mean, see there's just more than just smoke detectors and carbon monoxides and water heaters. So we're gonna get that right now. All right. Under these circumstances, I had to run around and do this because this was important for our uh, um, project right there to get things in escrow and um, get everything in compliance. Turn left, then so turn right. I couldn't get my my buyers anything or my sellers anything. However, I'm gonna meet them tomorrow. So tomorrow is when I will get everything needed. Go from there. Heading out to the site where we're closing today. It hasn't been recorded, but we are closing. Turn right onto North Tipperton Avenue. All right, all right, all right, it is closing day. Lots of things getting moved out. All right, man. All right. The time right now is about 12.30. Continue and on South Tipperton Avenue for a half mile. I just got out of uh, Costco and there's no baskets or anything like that, so I wouldn't get anything there. I actually ran into the seller at Costco, so I'm like, oh snaps, I'm gonna help you out later, but I'm gonna go eat real quick. And uh, so that's what's going on. Right now, like things are not in writing, so I'm supposed to get the keys at 12. However, we are double hitting this transaction, so we're like, okay, kind of lenient here and there, and everybody's still in agreement, so it's cool make sure everything is good mile, turn recording left on East Show Road. when things are recorded then everything is good and you get funded so once it's all in recording we're all good to go they have three days after the possession so it's like okay turn left okay. onto East Orange Show Road okay take your time take your time but don't take all the time if I knew in beginning I would have helped them out I would have been like I'll get the movers I'll do whatever it takes to aid it, you know what I mean? Help them out, push it real quick, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some food real quick right now. Meet up my broker, and we're gonna regroup, regroup, regroup. We're running all over the place all day, and that's just how it is. <laughs> with the spring rolls. That's how big it is. Okay, so I'm brunch or lunch right now with my boy. Johnny right here, and Mike, he's always on the phone, like how he runs. Oh, we're going in. What's up? This area right here, we are going to rebuild. So, put it up on this, okay. All we gotta do is put it all back up how it was. Cause they pop it out. We are just gonna pop it back in. Looking. Okay, so exactly how it is, huh? The time right now is about four o'clock, and I just got done with the sellers, and they're going to be moving out, and they'll have the keys handed over by tomorrow morning. We finally just got funded right now at four, so I mean they can't really do anything much right now, so. Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. So tomorrow at 7 a.m. is when we'll hand over the keys. Everything's recorded. Everything is good, and uh, we're good. so that means we close. We officially close right now. Recording is in. So I'm happy about that. So now I'm gonna go have to handle a rental property back in Highland. Running around, running around. But yes. <laughs> Time right now it's about five o'clock i am back in the rental and the owner's here and we're just doing a little few things that he wants us to do just nitpicking things so it's all good i'm gonna have to have this fan cleaned out scrubbed it once oh. we should be good after that i'll figure it out what's up guys thanks for joining me all you ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vin. If you don't know me, I'm a real estate agent and I do handyman work here and there 
contracting and a bunch of stuff. So today what I really want to get into is um, how I got started in real estate, where am I in real estate, and why did I choose real estate. So for me, I'm a true believer on the process and on just like, you know, documentary, anything that happens in my life. I do vlogs, I, I, I'm always with the camera, popping like Instagram stories and everything like that. However, I never have like time to just sit down and kind of just like have a, a talk about just like accountability, where I'm at, and such and such like that. So let's just begin, let's dive into it. I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, we're all figuring it out together. So the first thing is that, um, how did you get into real estate? So for me, um, I got into real estate, um, I just got, barely got in by this year um, in uh, November. Actually, when I really, really started was in January. Now it is in July, we're in the, the month of July. However, that's when I really went balls deep into it and say, hey, you know what, let's go. Let's do this real quick. But before that, um, it has to be like a story back, back kind of where I, I'm at, you know what I mean? So for me, for a long time, I didn't know what I was gonna do with my life. I was going through college, I was attempting to go to college, going through things, um, following the wrong crowd and here and there. However, when I was just going through all that stuff, I still fixed houses. Me and my pops would always go and fix people's houses. My dad's a pastor, so he goes out there and he has people that he goes to or people that you know he knows and they, they say, hey man, we wanna help you out. And for him, he's like, yeah, it's cool, you know what I mean? I'm gonna help you out, this is what I do. And if I can do whatever I can, I'll do it, you know? And he's like a perfectionist in what he does and he's always dragging me on the way to do it. When I was young, I hated going with him and however, when I started going to college, getting a little bit older, I kind of realized that this is so important what I do. It's like, it could just be a little like construction here and there, building a patio, putting floors in, um, just installing a bunch of things. However, I didn't know the value of it until I really branched out and I lived out to Georgia in like two, year, like two years ago. So I was in Georgia and I was, out there by myself fixing renovation houses, renovating homes, and living out there, you know? So, I mean, if you if you wanna concentrate on something and do that, you can make a living out there. Like, I literally went out there by myself. I have a family out there, you know what I mean, my peoples. However, I was living out there, working, you know, p plugging myself in, applying myself, and I was able to do that. But I was exposed to real estate out there as well, which is cool. However, I felt like well, I kept on co coming back and forth from California to Atlanta so often. And then I just made it a point to myself one day. I was like, you know what? If I was going to do real estate, like where would I go? Where would I start? I had so many questions. I didn't know like what to do. I was kind of just YouTubing. I kind of got some mentorship here and there. However, it never clicked to me. You know, I've, I've been opening houses and like opening houses and going through all this, but I really didn't know what real estate is until I really dived deep into it and made, made like, you know, the jump to do it. So it wasn't just like right off the bat made the jump, but it was kind of what it is too. So the story was, is like, you know, I hit up my broker, Mike. So Mike is a long time friend of mine, like I've known since high school, but we lost touch in like a couple years within, the, within like the college years and everything like that. And then I just linked up with him and I was like, man, if I would have made a team and I'm in Cali, who would I hit up? I hit up Mike. So the first thing I did, I hit him up and we were supposed to meet up like one time. However, I was still in between of like going to Atlanta and California and I was just like trying to, you know, Trying to try to pick his mind before I understood it. However, what you know, we we didn't make that lunch arrangement or whatever. And he's like, you know what? When you're ready, you holler at me, okay? So I'm like, okay, you know what? I holler at him. I was like, hey man, I'm making the move. I'm making the jump. Let's go. And when I did, I packed up all my stuff from Cal from Georgia, went to California. The next couple of days, I met him, and we went to go eat Chipotle. <laughs> and it's like. And that meeting was one of the meetings that I was like, ah, oh, my ninja, this is what's up, you know? He was just telling me how he was, but he was like, you know what, I want you to 
like every other realtor that tells me like when you start real estate go to a big company go to those companies that you know they'll teach you they'll they'll motivate you they'll kind of get you where you want to be and like kind of give you the stepping stones because they have all the the lessons and the teachings and um, the meetings that they'll have and pump you up and for me I went to Intero so he was with Intero and I was like cool let's go so I went in there and I felt it like yeah like every day they would when, when I was coming in there like I didn't know what a script was I didn't know what was I was expecting there's so many people around it was like a whole office and I was like okay cool you know, so Mike showed me around. I got a, a, I went to the office here and there, but the thing is like, when I met, when I went to that meeting with the broker out there, he was asking me like, so what's your plan, what you wanna do? And I was like, you know what, I wanna try real estate. I wanna, wanna see what's good. He was like, so you wanna do it part-time or you wanna do it um, full-time? And I was like, I wanna do it part-time because I just moved here. My mind was still into like, you know, I still gotta make these, my, you know, I gotta pay the bills, gotta make sure like I'm okay. And what, how I know how to do that is renovation and working and stuff like that. And I keep myself busy all the time. Like I could work from seven days to seven days with renovations in California, picking up jobs here and there. But I still wanna do real estate and kinda know what's, what's that about and kinda dabble into it. But he was like, you know what? If you really wanna get into it, you need to go 100%, like full time. And I was like, oh, snaps. But after that conversation, he's just like, you know, you think about it and we'll let, we'll let you know and stuff like that. But we'll sign you up, we'll see how it is. However, so I go on and I start understanding, okay, um, they were practicing scripts every day in the morning. About 7.30 is when they start doing scripts. So eight, after eight, they start hitting the phone lines. And for me, I was like in a whole different world. I was like, dude, you guys hit up the phone lines and you guys hit up people and and like expired and for sale by owners just a list of people like they they'll give you a list every day and all the agents hit it up so whoever got this email everybody's hitting this number up so i was like dang this is real estate you know so you know if you're gonna do real estate you gotta know scripts that's the first thing so scripts um i hate to say it's scripts but it's like it's something that is the backbone of your conversation of asking a person because you can go so far with the family or whoever it is, but you gotta find new business. You gotta go out there and you gotta find listings. You gotta find buyers. Hitting up like the low hanging fruit are, for my understanding, is the expires and for sale by owners because they're already in it. They already want to sell. However, when they sold, they couldn't. When they put their their um, house on the market it couldn't sell so that means that it expired so now once the contract's over let's say like like I take your house and I do a listing and I say only 30 days after that 30 days it goes expired and I could renew it or it'll go on the whole MLS and be like boom this is expired everybody go jump it in and stuff like that and you know they gotta they find ways how to talk to um, the owners before getting like hung up on but you gotta have that swag or you gotta have that that thick skin to be like okay you know what it's objections they call it objections when the owners are like no I don't want to talk to you about it I'm frustrated and then you're like oh you know I appreciate like how you're feeling right now I would be frustrated too if I could if my agent couldn't sell my house and now I'm stuck here and I can't get to Florida where I wanted to be and that's in the script so let's back it up a little bit that's what I kind of start understanding when I was in that company and we were only there for a couple months not even a month I think only like two or three weeks after that we Mike just started up his own um, brokerage he's like hey man you want to run with me let's run let's go if you want to stay with Intero let's do that and I was like man I'm gonna run with you bro and that's what it is from then on, it started in January. So January is when we had our Huntington Beach kind of um, group meeting. Our realty is New Block Realty Group. So that's us. It consists of Mike as my broker, me as an assistant, not an assistant, but a realtor under him. So he's my broker and I'm a realtor. And we have a few more realtors in us too that has joined us now. Uh, it's a small, tight niche group 
but you know that's we're just starting it's like our own business so you got to work at it so i did kind of got a little bit just of like the big companies but now it's like we're running it on our own and it's just like what i know was just like how we run it is how we want to run it however you have to be focused on it because for me like i can just go renovate for a long time and like kind of come back and like do my scripts here and there and i do know the importance of like when you're gonna set yourself to do it you should do it however there's a lot of things that happen so within this um first six months of being a realtor i have sold or been in three transactions actually four transactions now two listing appointments and today we just closed another one officially today so you can do it let me talk to you about my experience with the first one so the first one was um condominium in in um san Bernardino. so we got this lead from i believe it was zillow yeah so we got the lead from zillow mike pitched it to me and say handle it so from then on i didn't know what i was doing i was like hey man I met up with the buyer. She was making me run all over the place. She didn't know what she wanted to do. I didn't know what to do. And it was like, hey, you know what? It's experience. You gotta, the only, the fastest way to learn something is just jump into it. So that's what we did. And, and, and fast forward out of all the headaches and the roller coaster that I had, we closed and it was cool. After that, I had another transaction that I was with and this is the same thing, but however, it was the sphere of influences with Mike. So Mike pitched to me another one, and I was like, okay, cool. So I handled that, the buyer, I took him out, I showed him a few places, and finally, like, we, when you go and show people places, it's about like four or five or six places if you don't really know what they want, and then finally you start gauging them and be setting things, and then finally you're like, okay, cool. So I closed that in like a couple months ago, like about two or three months ago. However, it was still, I still had a TC, and a, that's a transaction coordinator. So I wasn't really all into knowing exactly what I'm doing, but I knew how to show people. Started to get familiar with the Supra, the contracts, what has to be done, inspections, um, you know, just going with like, okay, after inspections, you have to do um, you know, finding a checklist of, you know, if this and that contingencies and then remove the contingency and stuff like that. So it has been such a crazy journey. That was transactions number two. Number three is that I'm in escrow with a new build. So I, like, I feel like whenever I'm doing what I'm doing and with social media, it makes it so crazy that like it's such a tool like now all i do is like i post what my work that i do and i post like open houses that i host um with here and there on the weekends here and there and people start seeing that they see they start trusting me they see familiarity in me and they're like okay i want to i want to mess with this guy because this guy has been doing houses been in the game for quite a bit a long time because what if you scroll through all my instagram my stories or whatever, I'm all about business, installing floors, doing all this and everything like that. Jumping into real estate, it go hand in hand. So with my third transaction, it was actually a buddy of mine that kind of just hit me up and like, hey, you know what? We're looking for a house, you know, help me out. Let's see what's up, what's good. And then we ended up doing a new build. So with the new builds, it's just like, you walk in your customers and then they handle the rest. So that's still pending right now, which is dope. So that's actually another transaction. And this transaction that I did today, which is my fourth one, is the one that um, I'm co-agenting co co it. It's me and my partner. And I'm actually taking care of most of it because she was on vacation for the last weeks. So I'm just like me back and forth with the buyer. And what I've learned was that like, we're all coordinators. So you have to coordinate things correctly. Like when you get in, like you gotta coordinate going into the house, making sure like the sellers aren't there. They're kind of like good 
my buyers are walking around it's like okay they they understand what it is that they want and we got it into escrow once escrow happened we did inspections inspection happens we have termite termite the report comes there's things that have to be done and I have to get the termite guy in get another person to like see how much the work is going to be and if they're going to be okay with it and just going back and forth and then you know like it, it, it's a lot of things and the thing is I was doing a whole flip too in my in my year this this six months has been crazy because I did a whole freaking flip house too like Mike decided want to do a flip house and I did another flip house into it within six months four transaction one flip house two listings is just like I feel like if you put your mind to something and you apply yourself every day it, it, something in the world is going to like present itself to you and be like okay boom this is what's gonna happen this is what's gonna happen this is what's happened like every day I wake up and I am so like I wake up with a with a you know like a beautiful mind and being like man we're we're so blessed and I'm so grateful that you know I'm able to be healthy not in jail not dead and out there you know progressing my life helping people up contributing to society and you know this six months that I've been in in this real estate game has totally changed my mind like I started to be more of a you know a mature person a little bit more responsibility because the thing is we deal with people every day I deal with people when I'm doing contracting but I could be like 12 hours just working by myself laying floor wiring things up and no I don't gotta have anybody in my ear and anything like that however with real estate you gotta know how to put out fires people is gonna like their emotions gonna rise up your emotions gonna rise up you're gonna feel something some type of way somebody's gonna feel some type of way and then it's gonna be like what the heck you know what I mean so you know I feel like you know real estate is such a blessing to me and however it's not an easy task things that you have to do like there's so many sectors in real estate that you can do that it blows my mind like yeah okay what if it works you can be a person with a script you know what I mean you can talk to script however there is like wholesaling there's the burr like tech technique that you could you can sell the house or you find houses you flip them you hold them get passive income so all this I'm like just just throwing it out there however I just want to make this video just to be like this is what is going on with your life in 2019 around this July you know this is your six month process and the thing is consistency and the mind of like like a lighter mind and a positive mind will get you anywhere that you want to be in life so that's really what the the whole you know the whole goal that I was trying to get to this is like dude you're fired up you're it's it's early in the game however we've gone so far continue doing it and my main goal a lot of people is like what's your end game what's your main goal I want to be able to do whatever I want to do in life without you know caring about money issues and and I can work whenever I freaking want to work I can do whenever I want to go I want to go to vacation I can go right now but the thing is if I can sleep and still have income and work when I want to work that's retirement baby that's my end goal like once I'm able to do that then it's cool it's not a money value you know I can break it down it's more of like you know the value of um, yeah you know I mean helping people as well as you know able to help yourself because I if I can help myself first and do whatever I want to accomplish then I can help out even more people so that's my end game to because the thing is for me I know damn right I am not gonna stop working at all but I just want to be able to have the option of not to work or to work you get what I'm saying I think that's what we all want to collectively as a team to not just to be financial financially set however more of like you know passive income passive income comes with that too it's like yeah you can get passive income but what's more of it uh, my goal is like to just to, to be able to do that to work whenever I want to do it still have money to relax or whatever and you know hopefully I can like pass it on to the the next generation on and on and on like that so 
man, I don't know how long this is, but this is my rant on like the six months of whatever um, I'm going through. And there's so many things I go through there. Like every day is just like, I can do fucking 12 things at a time. However, sometimes like when I get down to sit about, sit down and like kind of think of what I'm gonna be doing and trying to figure things out, this is what it is, you know? Like I'm in real estate, my name is Vin, and I hope you guys kind of understand this. And this is actually just more for my understanding of where I'm gonna be at in the next couple months, in the next six months from now. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we can do and see how the real estate game is. And you know, I, I hope the best for everything. So thanks for watching. I know this has been a little bit long, but if you guys have any questions you wanna ask me, I know I went through like all over the place and I didn't cover a lot. But it was just really like a brainstorm out of my mind, like whatever I'm thinking. A lot of people are texting me right now. Just trying to like put it out there on the line, like my first year of real estate, I am, even though everybody thinks it's such like a downfall from it, I just feel like, you know what I mean? Like if you apply your mind to things, like everybody's gonna need housing. Everybody's gonna need this. Real estate is never going to fail. You're never gonna be out of business if you own real estate or in real estate or dabble into it. So for me, I would definitely recommend anybody, you know, the real end game is like, hey man, somebody's just trying to, you know, wherever you live, you rent, you, 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 you purchase, whatever, you know, it's all real estate at the end. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for staying in or, or checking in with me. Yo! After a long, long days of work, chasing sunsets in California. This is just the most awesome thing ever. Um, right now it's about 8.43 and I'm going to meet up with my uh, adopted parents, Mike and Anda and the kids at Chili's. It's time to get some food. I'm hungry. I took like a good power nap, but I'm up. It's time to go. Now, let's go. I was looking, we are in uh, Fontana at the Chili's on the other side. Dude, I didn't know they had the Target and Ross and everything on this side. What do they got? Five guys? All right, all right. Lego. I need some beer. Beer me. Let's go. Right here, baby back ribs. And what's up, family? What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, you guys didn't even order yet? Oh, okay. Oh. My right, food just came out. Everything looking good. Is it looking good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dessert is here. 